fighting uh, instructor, his name is Daryl Foster, he trained with, with Sugar Ray Leonard. And the, and the, uh, the first day we came in, he said, um, he said, this is a fight camp. He said, nothing but fighters in this camp. All the actors can go home right now. So with, when you train with professional fighters, the process is much faster than trying to do it in a vacuum. I was in the ring every day with former world title holders. So it, you, you learn something much more rapidly dealing with people that, that fight on that yeah. level. And it was just every single day. Uh, Leon Gast, who oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, directed yeah. When We Were Kings, yeah. he gave us 17 hours of footage that wasn't in it When We Were Kings. But we saw Ali spawn, we saw Ali run, we saw, we, we were able to create the interpretation of Ali that we created. The comprehension of the 60s was probably the most difficult aspect of the Civil rights process. in Vietnam. Absolutely. Just a comprehension of black people having to ride on the back of the bus. You know, I mean, I'm a child of rap music. Yeah. You know, Puffy has his own bus. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's like right. I couldn't even relate <laughs> to the concept. Yeah. So um, how do you do it? How do you get inside the head of the time? Uh, uh, as a testament to Michael Mann's brilliance, what he did is he, he brought in uh, Geronimo Jijiga, who was uh, formerly Geronimo Pratt yeah. of the Black Panthers. And I sat for three or four hours with, with Geronimo, and he gave me the, the gem of brilliance that really put me in the place. He said that the state of mind was that war had been declared on black America in, in the 60s. He said war had been declared. Fire hoses, dogs, domestic terrorism, the bombing of the, the church in Birmingham, Alabama. He said that was full scale war. And he said that was our mindset. And that was a real epiphany for me. It exploded in my mind, I said, that's why Ali is not going to Vietnam. If my wife and children aren't safe here, why would I go somewhere else to fight another war with some Viet Cong that I ain't got no quarrel with? Yeah. He know? also said this amazing thing, too, as you know. He said, they said, well, do you know where Vietnam is? Mm -hmm. he said, it's yeah, it's on TV. <laughs> <It's in the laughs> yeah. <laughs> said you were the only guy, among other things, yeah. pretty enough to yeah, do this. <laughs> he said I was almost pretty enough. <laughs> <laughs>